Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. How are you doing today? I hope you are doing well and I thank you for tuning in to another video. It is a new day and a new beginning and I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. I thank the Most High for another day of life. What are you thankful for today? Yes, there's so much, so much to be thankful for. And uh, what I wanted to share with you is that um, when I drive in my car, oftentimes I will listen to the Word of God. I listen to music too. Later on in the day, I usually will listen to uh, music that I like. Jazz, oldies, old school rap, etc. Uh, but when it's early, I tune into the word of the Most High. There's a scripture that says, faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God. So there are Bible apps you can download. Uh, I, I have the Holy Bible app, it's the Brown Bible. And I just tap read and it just reads the word while I'm driving. So that's a good way to get the word into your heart and through your mind, okay? Um, but with that said, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Here is <laughs> the California Cup. Yes, I'm still drinking coffee. You know, there, there are actually benefits to drinking coffee. The antioxidants are good. The caffeine's not good for our bodies. Uh, but it's a work in progress, y'all. And, and I am still drinking. But I am also, you know what I did? I implemented the juice. I'm, I'm drinking celery juice now. And vegetable juice and, you know you can implement these things in into your uh, intake your daily intake and so that helps even if you haven't given up something go ahead and implement the healthy stuff okay that's a start um, but with that said our, our you know there is a question and the question is is Jesus God is Jesus God many of us on this planet believe that Jesus is God and that he was manifest in the flesh as his son Jesus Christ so that we will accept him right great is the mystery of godliness he did it that way and uh, um, and many don't believe that of course and what's interesting is that those who don't believe that Jesus is God they will still quote the Bible they still read the Bible they quote it they say they believe the scriptures but when it comes to certain scriptures, they don't believe. So uh, today, I want to answer the question, is Jesus God? And I wanted to use two scriptures to do that. And uh, this was inspired uh, on my way to work the other morning. And uh, it's going to be the second scripture that I read. The first scripture is the book of John. Chapter, it comes out of the book of John, chapter 1, verses 1 and 14. And it reads... This is John chapter 1, verses, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Verse 14, it says, And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So remember verse 14, it says, And the Word was made flesh. Now Christ was the Word. Right? If you notice when you read it, there's a capital W there. Christ was the Word. Now, the scripture that inspired me to do this video today comes out of the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 3, and it is verse 16. And it says, And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh justified in the spirit seen of angels preached unto the Gentiles believed on in the world received up into glory and that is Yahshua HaMashiach Jesus Christ all right so if you ever have doubts or questions on whether or not Jesus is God just read first Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16 okay and uh, 
there it is. It's plain as day. God manifests himself in the flesh as his son, Jesus Christ. So Jesus is God. But remember, it says, great is the mystery of godliness. There are some things that we as human beings will not fully understand being here on this planet. There are. There are just some things we're not going to understand. Okay, so we need to accept that. And I think the problem that mankind has is that they want to be able to figure out everything. They want to have the, the absolute answer to everything. Well, you can have that answer, but you're going to have to dig in deep into the spiritual, spiritual things. So it is impossible for you to have all the answers if you're not spiritual. If you, if, you, if you refuse to look at things from a spiritual perspective, if you're looking at things only from your flesh, which many say, you know, if I can't see it, I'm not going to believe it. Well, you cannot see oxygen. <laughs> so are you saying you don't believe that we have, that we're breathing oxygen? There are many things that we cannot see that are real, that exists, and there is sound evidence to prove that our very lives so uh, but with that said if ever in doubt just go to the book of 1st Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 you could also read John chapter 1 verses 1 through 14 and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us so, like I said in the last video, there is a spiritual component, and that is even in our lives. We are spirits in these bodies, okay? We are. And uh, so, once again, have a wonderful, well, I haven't said it yet, but let me say it now. I'm going to go ahead and close out. You have a wonderful day, and you stay strong remember whatever it is you're going through because in this life we're going to go through things but then we will also come out remember you will get through it and you will come out of it and you will learn something from that experience whatever it is you will learn from it and you the best way to utilize it is to help others okay even if it's even if it means just praying for someone you can help people just by praying for them, and they don't even have to know. Okay? So remain blessed in Jesus' name. Peace. Bye for now.